We're here with Ashley Hemman, Rip Wilson. Thanks for joining me, guys. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys do at NetApp? I'm a brand new to the Solid Fire product marketing team. And I manage the Solid Fire product marketing team. So Solid Fire, that's uh, the foundation of NetApp's next generation data center strategy. Is that right? Yes, and everything is powered by our Element OS software. So it's really cool. Um, with Neon just coming out, we're able to power not just Solid Fire, but FlexPod SF that was just recently announced, and our new platform coming out soon, our hyperconvergence infrastructure, which is NetApp HCI. So Neon, what what is that? That's the newest release of what powers Solid Fire and the HCI platform. Yeah, it's the software. It's the foundation. Um, that enables our automation, our predictability, and the scalability of our system. So Neon's version 10, is that right, Rip? That's right, Element OS 10. So what's new in version 10? So the big things uh, that are new in Element OS 10 are, it was the general availability release for our HCI platform. So our HCI systems will be shipping with the latest, greatest version of the Element OS software. Uh, we also are adding snap mirror integration. So we'll be able to snap mirror replicate data from a solid fire platform. As Ashley said, the all-flash array NetApp HCI or FlexPod SF to an ONTAP based platform. So that could be uh, an all-flash FAS, but most more than likely a, a FAS platform that you're already using for disaster recovery or for archiving or for vaulting. We'll be able to replicate data from our solid fire system to that system. And then we've also done some nice works around QoS policies, which are really gonna make it easy to uh, leverage our guaranteed QoS features um, at scale. So my ears perked up a little bit when you said snap mirror. Now, I understand that SnapMirror is really the NetApp strategy around moving data around in their data fabric strategy. Is this the release that really brings SolidFire and the HCI platform into the data fabric? Yeah, I think so. You know, we've, we've had ability to sort of move data around between SolidFire platforms. So you can use native replication to move data from an all-flash array to NetApp HCI to FlexPod SF. But you're right, snap mirror replication is what's going to allow us to really tap fully into the data fabric and move data from one platform to another platform. So, you know, you don't really see this in the industry, being able to move data from one technology platform, cross-architecture cross replication to another platform. So it's really neat to really bring solid fire technology into the data fabric. So Element OS is what's powering the new HCI platform. That's pretty brand new. What is this HCI platform? Give me a little bit of history and background around this. So it, it was uh, based on the solid fire technology, obviously, and you know, really looking for a way to, to offer customers the full stack of ease of use, the automation, the scalability that we've had all this time with solid fire, and just build out a full hyper-converged infrastructure platform that we like to say is enterprise scale. So it's really going to offer features that we haven't seen in the HCI offerings out in the market today. The predictable performance, the ability to really put lots of different workloads onto a single HCI platform now, guarantee that performance, and then scale the system out as you want to scale. So it's not a one-size-fits-all. We have small, medium, and large compute nodes, and we have small, medium, and large storage nodes, and you can mix and match those in any way you want to create your initial system, as well as to scale that system over time. So you really have the ability to turn that HCI and let it change as your needs change, as your requirements change. It can grow with you and scale in the way that you want to scale. Ashley, I wanted to ask you about this new FlexPod SF platform. Well, it has the Element OS software running it. Um, what's really cool is that our, the storage nodes are built on Cisco hardware as well. So it is a Cisco stack from top to bottom. So is that Cisco C-series for the solid fire nodes and B-series for the compute nodes? Is that right? Yeah, C220 nodes. So we, we can finally put together a full stack of all Cisco hardware in that pre-validated design all wrapped around a Cisco CVD, Cisco Validated Design Architecture, exactly, is that right? Yep. Right, yep, so the first CVD is based on VMware. Um, we're looking at additional ones down the road, but you know, the, the CVD for uh, FlexPod SF on VMware architectures is out today, um, and it's you know, pretty exciting. Where can we go to find out more about SolidFire and Element OS? So netapp.com is obviously a good starting place, and from there you can get into the SolidFire all-flash arrays, you can learn more about Element OS, you can learn about FlexBot SF, and about NetApp HCI. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you.